Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about something that came to me whilst watching a Netflix series. Um, if you follow me on like Instagram and stuff, you know that I love 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 watching sci-fi supernatural kind of tv shows and films because i love to just try and decode them and just see the subliminal messages that they're showing and the truth that they're revealing in those films and tv shows but recently i watched a tv show with my mum and i had no idea that it was gonna go into any type of like metaphysical thing but it went into astral projection that was what was happening in this tv show and like i didn't expect it or anything from the title it was called behind her eyes and it was a bit of like a psychological thrillery type drama type thing <laughs> but lots of astral projection happened in the, the TV show and um, I'm not going to spoil the show in case you haven't seen it or anything but it sparked this revelation within me about the fact that when it comes to souls being in a vessel and us experiencing this reality and the fact that we have free will when you think about what's going on right now especially right now in the whole situation that's happening globally. I'm not even going to start saying all of these words because they like to, you know, censor things on YouTube. So we're not going to use those words. We're just going to say the situation that is going on right now, especially right now, but also you can see it throughout history and all types of things that have happened in the world. And the fact that certain things happen that trigger people, they spark some kind of emotion and it causes chaos, it causes so much panic and so much uncertainty as well. Even if you're not panicking and you're feeling pretty grounded, it can still bring up a lot of uncertainty. And through this TV show, when um, astral projection was happening and they swapped bodies and things, it really just sparked such a, like thought I guess or idea of the fact that what happens here can only happen with your permission like you have free will so you have to agree to certain things happening in your own reality in order for it to happen so it got me thinking about my own dreams and even like the slight fear around doing astral projection because I've always been able to lucid dream I've always been able to control my dreams and do all of these things since I was a very very young child and I thought that it was such a normal thing that everybody does and it's only as I become an adult that I realized oh maybe it's not as common or as normal or as like popular and um some people don't even dream or don't even know how to dream so I just realized that it's not actually what everybody does and that we all have that gift but some people haven't tapped into it and maybe they weren't nurtured in that way as a child like that gift that they had wasn't nurtured and so they let go of it and things like that there's a million reasons why people do the things that they do or lose certain things that they had when they were young but it got me thinking about astral projection and even the fear that came up based upon the messaging that the show was portraying or I guess feeding the audience because it was a psychological drama like it was creepy and weird shit was happening so it instantly instills that kind of fear within you when you're watching it you know this is what the programming is that's why it's called a program because it does program our beliefs because now after you watch that you then get that kind of that fear that comes up through the situation, like watching the situation that's happening in the TV show, even though it's fiction, our minds can't tell the difference between reality and what's not actually real. Like it feels real. So it then plants that seed for you to then fear astral projection in your own life. I realised that, but then on top of that, it also sparked this idea of the fact that you have free will so even though you can fear it 
and you can feel like maybe it's not a good idea for you to practice astral projection or anything, but these negative bad things can only happen to you and in your reality if you agree to it. And they even showed that in the film by the fact that the two people agreed to swap it was something that they planned to do and even later on I don't want to spoil the show but even later on when it wasn't necessarily an agreement they still both agreed to leave their own bodies for the, the swap to even take place so it's like you have free will and you can choose to exit your body and that's still a choice that you're making and I feel like this can relate to so so many parts of our lives not just like any kind of spiritual practice but also just our emotions in general and the things that trigger us and trigger our emotions it's a choice like we have free will so we can choose what we do in this life and how we react to everything else around us like it's really just emphasizing to me free will and the fact that we have free will, because there's a lot going on right now, there's so much chaos, there's so much uncertainty, and people, like, some people are extremely feeling depression, and survival mode, and uncertainty and everything, and other people are literally becoming ill, you know, like, there's just so many things going on that we're all having to deal with, so it's really emphasizing to me the fact that we have free will and that also means that we get to choose what we believe, what we buy into, what we watch, what we consume, what we observe, who we have around us, you know, like what we decide to follow on social media, what we decide to look and scroll through every single day. All of those things are a part of our own free will that we can choose for ourselves in our own lives and there's nothing that anybody externally whether it be people that have tons of money you know in politics and all of that whether it be those people whether it be people that we're that we haven't seen and can't see but that we know are really running the show whether it be our friends and family or complete strangers or whoever we we have the power to only be affected by the things that we choose to be affected by. And I know that that can kind of sound a bit crazy, especially when something major happens. But at the end of the day, we all have free will. So we can choose what we focus on, what we buy into, what we feed our energy to, like what we allow to literally suck the life out of us, you know? Like you have to give permission for other thoughts to be implanted into your mind you have to give permission for certain things to have your attention you have to give permission for literally to be able to have another soul infiltrate your body like if you decide not to claim your body if you decide to release your ownership of it or like your claiming of it then other beings, other entities, other thoughts, other beliefs, other everything can access it. And you can also see this with sleep paralysis, where I don't know if you've experienced it, I have never experienced it, thank God, because it sounds absolutely horrific, but I know people that have experienced it and also I've researched it as well online and seen like stories of what happens and stuff. And even that is like a full extreme example that shows you the idea of somebody infiltrating your consciousness, like your awareness, your space, but you have to give permission for that. And as soon as you reject it and choose not to allow it to be in your space, it can't enter it, it can't enter your body, it can't enter your thoughts, it can't enter your belief system. But oftentimes we are giving permission whether we're even consciously aware of it or not, we tend to give permission to things that don't serve us. So people get consumed by the media and what's going on in the world and stuff to the point where it fully psychologically affects them in a negative way and sometimes even in a positive way too. But like, it's always about 
being aware of what you're actually allowing to infiltrate you and it can infiltrate every uh realm within us so all of our chakras you know the different um portals or energy centers or whatever you want to call it because everybody has different words of describing and labeling things but being able to infiltrate all of your realms to the point where it throws you off in so many different ways and then you start taking on beliefs that aren't yours so whilst it's easy to get triggered by things and obviously that's like a normal thing to happen because our ego mind wants us to survive so when it gets triggered and stuff it's literally just trying to keep us safe and help protect us so it's not necessarily a bad thing but at the same time we all instead of feeling inferior to it and feeling like everything around us has so much power over us and literally can come in and just move us out of our body, like in that kind of extreme circumstance. But I'm really starting to see that nothing has power over us without us allowing it, without us choosing it, without us giving it permission to infiltrate our space and our energy field and everything. So all of this is really to say that we actually have so much more power than we think and sometimes you have to check yourself and pay attention to the fact that it's other things and other beings and other entities infiltrating your space and your mind and not something that actually serves you or something that you would actually choose for yourself. Nobody can disrupt your peace without your permission. So I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my Elemental Mirror jewellery brand. I'm wearing some pieces today. Also one-to-one -one sessions. The links to that if you would like to book a one-to-one -one session with me is in the description box and everything else about me and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Slow.